Cheers. Oh yeah. I'm trying to wait to myself with that one. Hello. Um just if you can let me know if it sounds okay and all that kind of jazz would be great. Uh, I know there's not gonna be many of you playing tonight, and that's okay. This is especially for uh people who've been asking for it all the time. We've had about a week's notice. I've been telling you for weeks I was gonna do it. Um uh, yeah, so this is a bond quiz. Night, evening. This is it's not gonna take long, it's 50 questions. So you might have just wandered in off the street and found us. And you want to do a bond quiz. It'll take no more than about 50 minutes. There's 50 questions. Once we get started, it's very, very easy to jump in. Great to hear. Uh, up the top, there you go. Just on, on another device, go to play.livequiz.ie forward slash bond. I'm going to see if anyone's after joining in now. Uh, yeah. Kopite Riley is in. Five days ago. There we go. Must have been from the last quiz we must have done. Uh, Colette, hello. How are things? So this is uh, this is free, free to play. Doesn't cost a thing. Uh, you've been asking for quite a while for a bond quiz, and you know what? You deserve you deserve a, a, a present. Hashtag bond quiz can now be retired. If I see it again, you you won't be banned because I really can't afford to lose you as a customer or as a friend. Um, so you're just given a, a one of those. But do need ch chat away to me in the chat, especially tonight. Yeah, we, we tend to just you, you can uh, you can always unlog yourself out and log yourself back in as a new person if you want to. Hashtag bond quiz from after tonight it's it's retired, so you're jumping in. Anyone who wants to get this underway, I'm going to start it in uh, 15 minutes. So the standard time what we normally do is we start about 15 minutes past eight so ban bond quiz starting in 15 minutes time i'm even gonna shit stick because there, there's no pat so i might as well stick the old uh, james bond thing in his spot there you go but you know i'm after doing that i'll let you where it was uh, you lock all the layers it's called him likes moving things without locking layers and there we go so you know what i'm gonna stick that there where pat would normally be not right pat there you go so we're doing a James Bond quiz tonight. It's the 25th of April, which is today. Hashtag bring back Roger Moore. Uh, he's dead. Uh, he's not coming back. Um, yeah. So do chat to me in the chat, whether it be on Twitter or on YouTube or on Facebook. Do say hello to me because I'm on my own tonight. I've got no banter, uh, buddy. Uh, which it, which I, I did a quiz as well last night on my own uh, for a charity. And it's weird. It's weird having to fill the silence with my own voice and thoughts at the same time. Uh, Sean Connery, there you go. Perfect date. All you need now is a light jacket. It is a nip wash. Colette, you got it earlier on. You understood, as did Ashling. Uh, my, one of my favorite movies of all time. Definitely in the top 20. I wouldn't go saying it's like top 10 kind of stuff. Uh, Miss Congeniality. Went to see it in the cinema. Really surprised. It's got, it's got everything you want in a film and today is the perfect date and you know what i think when i go home i'm gonna watch it uh miss congeniality uh, my favorite date is april 25th because all you need is a light jacket but that is then and this is now we're doing did it i'm not using the music in case we get stuff did it did it uh, i've also done and gone and done i've got to run away when i do this right this <laughs> Sorry, am I, am I in your way? Apologies. Uh, I'll stand over here. Yeah, I gotta waste my time doing that. The second one is not good. Uh, yeah, they, they miss congeniality. The second one is not good. <laughs> Uh, that's just kind of late. Uh, Moira is there saying, Milling with the gangsters, there I am. Just hanging out with the gangsters, saying hello, seeing what they're up to. So, look, there is roughly around 12 of you have entered. I'm going to give you another 12 minutes to join in. It's free to do so. If you want to do a, um, if you want to do the Bond quiz, and you more or less, you've got to think of it like this. Bond season happens once a year. It's like Christmas. Bond season tends to pop up on things like RTE and ITV because it's cheap. It's cheap to show in syndication on television. So RT, you know, whack out a Bond season at least once a year. Let's let's face it. And they show all the Bond films and roughly every four or five years, depending on the release date of whenever these films come out, they then show 
the last released Bond film, or second last released Bond film, depending on the money budget, uh, at Christmas Day. Uh, you know, so everyone, you know, when there's no ads and you get to watch, you know, Quantum of Solace or Casino Royale with your dad at half six on a, on a, on a Christmas Day. The most magical Bond age of time of the year. It's the most magical Bond age. I don't know, that sounds a little bit dodgier and probably has a different kind of group of people who have, you know, you know. Uh, Colm, is this on Zoom? No, this is not on Zoom. It's just on Facebook. It's the standard quiz. Uh, the I have no idea why the word bingo quiz is in it. I did update it on the, the studio part here on my end, but when it went out, it just seemed to work the word quiz and I can't, or the word bingo and I can't get rid of it. It's not bingo tonight. We don't do bingo on uh, on Zoom, so it just stays here. Um, so yeah, uh, twelve of you in. I'm gonna give you, as I said, there's only ten more minutes. Chat away to me here uh, and, and say hello. Don't leave me on my own. Uh, the quiz questions are fairly general. There's one or two that you probably wouldn't know unless you were really a big Bond fan, and they're not really necessarily to do with. The Bond films themselves, but more or less the actors. Um, you could guess some of them. Like, so if you're into Bond, you will find some of them very, very easy. And if you're not into Bond, you might find one or two that are quite easy. To be fair, it's a Bond quiz. You have to have some sort of knowledge of the films. They've been on for 50 odd years. They've been 50 years of Bond. I think it was 1960 when the, 60 odd when the first Bond came out. So we are looking at 60 years of Bond so far. Uh, 50 years, nearly 60 probably at this point. Nigel says, hello. Hi Nigel, jump in there buddy. Jo uh, test your uh, Bond knowledge. There's no prize. There's no prize. Uh, the prize is my time for you. Um, the intention is, is to do a few of these quizzes. I won't be doing it from the studio here. I'm going to move back uh, into my own house and do them on, on a Sunday from home. So it might be just myself and they'll only take an hour. I'll jump in at eight o'clock and we'll finish at nine. So we're, we're talking about doing a quick quiz, 25 questions, maybe 20 questions, 20 questions, 10, 50 questions, no more than 60 on a specific topic, maybe once every week or every two weeks with the kind of maybe once a month doing a very big one where we, you know, do the superhero quiz or a father Ted quiz. But in between, we'll do the small ones uh, so that I can just at half seven say goodnight to the kids, go out into the, into the shed. Um, Sounds even dodgy again. Go to the shed and do a small quick quiz for you on a Sunday evening uh, or, or any other evening, depending on when we're going to do it. And you can just join in. Some might be free, some might be pay what you want, and others might be if they're the big quiz once a month or whatever, uh, they might be the full price, the full back. But for tonight, enjoy. Have a good night. Um, how I Met Your Mother quiz. Yeah, definitely. I'll add it to a list. And let's see what else others, some people are saying. Back to the chat. Bond music bingo, that was from earlier on. Yeah, very good. Um, how was your day, Cullum? My day was actually brilliant. I had a lovely, lovely day today. We went down to um, Gary Vaux Beach and we took a nice long walk and we played on the beach with the kids. We went to a playground and we bought chips and we ate them on an old picnic table and we came home again. There's nothing better than that. And my wife got to sort out all of her food for the week and did all of her cooking and all of her soups and all that kind of jazz. So she was delighted. Um, so let's have a look, let's keep seeing what's over. How's your, uh, yeah. Kate says hi. Hi Kate, there's no Pat here tonight to uh, go up against. So tonight you can give me column wins tonight. I get an extra one tonight for doing this. Um, bit of Chris Cornell, definitely. Is is Chris Cornell's the best band song of all time? It's fairly up there. It's, it's, a, it's, it's just a good song. It's a solid one. Diamonds Are Forever is a banger. I'll tip, to be honest with you, some people love uh, band songs, some people don't. And uh, that is a good song though. Uh, glad you're having a nice day. Hope you're all having a nice day as well too, guys. Uh, okay, Bond. I, I, yeah, I hope Bart is in. Let Bart know. Uh, how I Met Your Mother. Best Bond theme. Best Bond theme. Or that's what you're discussing, so that's where I came out of. A band quiz. Having not seen a Bond film since I was a kid, 
This is going to be a car speech lesson on that, Elias. Yeah, but some people might, some people love watching the Bond films every time they come on. Some people like this idiot here tend to buy the entire box set and watch the extra features that come on disc two for every one of the films. Mainly down to the fact that I want to see how the stunts were done. I mean, before Tom Cruise was hanging onto an airplane or, you know, getting shot in the eye with a dart gun or, you know, in real life in a stunt where he has to stop a dart from hitting him in the eye. Uh, yeah, they were the big stunt things every year. So, uh, every so often, I'll just check and see how the poker game is going. I get quite large. Uh, so. Six minutes. So anyone who wants to play, up here you'll see play.livequiz.ie forward slash bond on a second device, you can go there. It's free to enter. If you uh, just go there, you'll enter your name and email and that should be it. There's nothing to it. It's nothing, nothing fancy. Now I can see you're all typing other things there. Any Sheena Easton fans? In the house. <laughs> yeah, even Sheena Easton's probably not a fan of her stuff these days. Uh, newest theme is atrocious. The Sam Smith one, yeah, that was bad. That was really bad. Or are you talking with the Billie Eilish one? Or the Billie Eilish one? Yeah, not good. They... Skyfall is a better song than the film. Skyfall. Skyfall theme song is a better song than the actual film. The, uh, for me, the Daniel Craig films have got progressively worse as they went along. Uh, at one point, he became a parody of Bond in a way that almost became Austin Powers ish. That Sam Mendes, the director of the last two films, he did Skyfall and uh, Spectre, he created in Spectre a Roger Moore ish, a Roger Moore esque film. It became he became Roger Moore the silly ejection seats and landing and then making those bond quips that had been done away with uh, since Casino Royale because Casino Royale was was, was a reimagining it's the thing that scared you know everyone um at the time and everyone had to be more realistic and it was a great reimagining of bond and they Sam Mendes has kind of ruined it uh Skyfall was a bit silly uh going off into the mountains of Scotland without knowing if there's actual guns he's a secret agent Ring ahead and ask, is the, are there guns there? Because we're going to probably need them. Uh, or, or at least ring someone locally to go over and check if there's no phone in the house. Uh, so it's 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 on it's on him what happened, as far as I'm concerned. I don't blame Javier Bardem at all. He was just getting revenge. But his plan was fairly convoluted as well. To be put in that box, in that exact bunker, at the right time to escape. And then have a bomb in place to allow a oncoming train to fall into the hole that the bomb would create to kill Bond. It seems a little bit convoluted when he could probably just left a gun there and, you know, know that Bond was going to chase him and then shot him. But that makes it too easy, I suppose. Quantum of Solace is boring. Quantum of Solace is, 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 a, is, a, is, a, is a bridge film. So, like, the same as, like, Born Supremacy was a bridge film between the Born Identity and the Born Ultimatum. Uh, it's it's setting up the whole Spectre thing and then in Skyfall they don't they forgot about it they, they never continued the story and that's why yeah, Quantum of Solace doesn't do as well um, so yeah three minutes I'm going to keep waffling on about Bond because no one else uh, yes it's on YouTube if you go to Patrick O'Hearn's uh, thing even if you go to the live quiz page and click watch that will take you directly to um, the, the, the video no time for bridge films. They need to stand by themselves. No, not in that one because they were creating an entire arc in the films. That's why they left the end of Casino Royale, which is the best of the films, with a cliffhanger with Mr. White. And that, that is the cliffhanger to the film and it picks up exactly where it was. That opening scene of Quantum of Solace is brilliant. Uh, I mean, technically it deserves to be at the end of, of, of uh, Casino Royale, but uh, it continues on. Does Never Say Never Again count as a Bond movie? Not tonight. Uh, not tonight. It doesn't count because it's not part of the... Uh, it's not part of the official Bond films. As does the David Niven... Um, Jimmy Bond... Uh, Casino Royale film. The original one. 
My Bond knowledge starts and ends with GoldenEye N64. Well, you've probably given away an answer tonight. We're up to 100 messages already. That it's that didn't take long. Um, it seems to be Bond has caused... Uh, someone's looking for a wire quiz. No problem. Bond has caused a, a stir amongst you. Only watching tonight, says Kate. No interest in Bond. That's brilliant. Just because you're being here alone, keeping me happy. Um... Yeah, you're still going on about poor old Quantum of Solace. Bob Holness from Blockbuster played Bond in a radio play. Doesn't count, but that is an awesome, um, that's an awesome tidbit of information. Uh, Jane, you can, you can do what you want as regards to leaving the answers in if you want to have a guess there. But you can play on a second device. Just go to play.livequiz.ie forward slash Bond. Okay? There's no, that, that, that is on a second device, uh, I won't be able to help you beyond that. The information is really, really easy other than that, so you can do whatever you want uh, and keep your, keep track of your own answers, but that is how you play if you want to continue to play live uh, part of it. Right, uh, 50 seconds. Uh, we have 50 questions and they are, we split them up. We'll do 20 questions in the first round. We'll do 10 questions in the second. We'll do 20 questions in the last. Or will I do 30 and 30? Or 25 and 25. No, we'll, we'll do three tonight. Um, have a major sleepy brain tonight. We'll be quick. We'll be quick. So you're running now. You're going to be running then. Um, so what's what's going to happen is we'll do 20, 10, and 20. That'll get us the 50 questions. I'll give you a three or four minute break in between and we'll race through them. So if you've never played before, answer as fast as you can. Don't wait for me to ask the questions in the live stream. Answer them. As soon as they pop up on your phone or in the browser tab beside you, the faster you answer, the more points you get. Each question is worth 20. There is one question that's got quite a, a long answer, so I've left a little extra time in it. There's only 10 seconds to answer each each question. Um, if anything happens during the quiz and you're, you, you get stuck, just refresh your screen. So once again, if you go to play.livequiz.e and enter the code BAND or just do forward slash BAND, it should bring you directly straight to the quiz. I'll leave it up there just for a minute. In any case, anyone comes along and wants to play. So here we go. Moira says, Colm, how are you? How are you getting on well? I'm doing, I'm good. I don't know if that's recent or from before. 30 is too much in a row. <laughs> Looking forward to the questions. Love my movies. Okay, here we go. So, we're getting into the spirit of it. I've done my best to make sure all the answers are correct. It's a free quiz. If one of them tends to be wrong or is out of date since where I stole it from has been uh, updated since, I've tried to get uh, check most of them. I don't care. It's a free quiz. <laughs> right. The first question will appear on your phone in probably the next 20 seconds. Don't wait for me to ask them in the live stream. Answer them as soon as they pop up on your phone. I'm here just to compare the whole event. Uh, enjoy. Da -da 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 -da. You ready, lads? Everyone ready? You ready? God, this room is boring. I'm going back to the other one. There's a, there's a quiz in the other room. Uh, five seconds. Here comes the first quiz. Question. Question number one. We leave it up there for a few seconds. The man with the golden gun set a Guinness World Record for... Guinness World Record for... Did it send the Guinness World Record for... The highest selling theme song of a movie, the first astro spiral stunt jump in a car in a movie, or most eyebrows raised by Roger Moore. He did he did raise a lot of eyebrows, both on and off camera. <laughs> right, so let's have a check at the percentages. 83% of you going for the first astro spiral just stump in a thingy. It was, it's the right answer. I'm gonna show it to you. There you go. You remember it now? It was ridiculous. Right. And the correct answer was the Astro Spiral. Nope, I have the wrong answer there. There we go, perfect answer now, there we go. First Astro Spiral stunt in a jump, uh, in, 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 a, in a car, there you go. It, it, that car is now in a museum. Question number two, Bono and the Edge of U2 fame, just in case you don't know who they are, wrote the theme song to which Bond movie? Goldeneye, Tomorrow Never Dies, Casino Royale, or The Living Daylights. You can eliminate, um, Three, and then you're left with one. While they may not have sang it, they did write it. Tina Turner sang it. It was Goldeneye. 
There you go. Only 18% of you getting it. All right. Some of you are going to be kicking yourselves later on. Question number three. Michael Lansdale. Picture of him over there. I've made it as easy as possible to try and refresh your memories in case you haven't seen them in a while. Played the villain in Moonraker. But what was the character's name? What was the character in Moonraker? Who was the baddie? The bad guy. Was it Hugo Drax, Emil Largo, or Max Zorn? Instantly, I can eliminate one myself. I would know the bad guy, Max Zorn, from another film. So it's down to the two. I think it's I think it's A and B. Let me know. Let's have a look and see percentage-wise what you went for. 50% of you going for Hugo Drax. It did come down in steps. It was indeed the right answer. Hugo Drax, the bad guy in Moonraker, the baddie. Question number four. What Bond movie was the basis of the very popular Nintendo 64 first-person player game? Laszlo. Freebie for yourself. Let's have a look at the answers. Is it License to Kill Tomorrow Never Dies? Gold and I are from Russia with love. Let's have a look and see how people are getting on. Percentage-wise, it was 83% of you getting it right. Gold and I. <laughs> yes. I'm delighted you got more for you. <laughs> you got yourself the points for that one. Uh, I hope you got the fastest answer. I'd love if you got the fastest answer. Niall in with all of his bond knowledge. Lonsdale died last year. You're, you're a bit late there for the poor old, uh, that question related to it. But when uh, Moonraker's bad guy, the actor died last year. Very sad. Question five. Uh, which bond villain's henchman throws a hat? Nope, I'm going to change the scenario. I'm going to wait a few seconds there for that one to update with you guys, all right? Which Bond henchman throws a hat with a razor sharp rib? The the question suggests that it would be uh, the person that he works for because he's a henchman. No, uh, I want to look at the name of the person who throws the hat. Let's have a look at the answers. Is it Baron Semendi, Nick Knack, Odd Job, or Jaws? Oh. Random task is indeed. Random task. Hello, random task. Uh, random, if, yeah, if you've seen Austin Powers and you know random task, you're trying to get odd job, which is the right answer. Odd job. Correct one. Well done. Question six. Who's the only woman to play M in the James Bond films? Very famous actress. Who is it? Sigourney Weaver, Helen Mirren, Judy Dench, or Diana Rigg? Nice to see Bart in the chat. Here we <laughs> Bart babes. <laughs> and Patrick is here. Oh, he can't do the quiz, but he's at home. And it's Bart, 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 Bart. Let's have a look at the percentage. Why is 89% Judy Dench? Right answer. Who's Bart? <laughs> it is well done. 89% of you getting it right. Before taking on the role of Bond, Pierce Brosnan starred in a TV series where he played a super suave private investigator and former thief. What was it called? Scarecrow and Mrs. King, Jake and the Fat Man, or Remington Steel. So not technically a Bond question, but still very much related to it. It stopped him from taking a Bond, I think around the time Dalton was looking at it. Because, also he, was, he felt he was too young. Let's have a look at the percentage-wise where he went from. 89% of you going for Remington Steel. Tis, tis not a bad show. Tis good. Tis good. I think it lasted four seasons. And I have season one and two on DVD at home. And um, he, uh, she, she was a woman private investigator. And she invented her own um, agency. But because she was a woman, she wasn't being taken seriously. So she made up a fake boss called Remington Steel. And he was a thief. And she used him one time to try and pretend that he was Remington Steel. The owner of the agency. And eventually the two of them get together and... Create the agency themselves and fall in love. There you go. I've ruined the entire show for you. Let's have a look at the next one. The correct answer, of course, is Brown and Steel. Question eight. What type of pistol does has Bond is, is most associated with him? Uh, the auto on something or other. D44 Dot Heavy, Walter PPK, or the 357 Magnum. Did she use a typewriter? Not too sure. Uh, 80, 67% to go on with the old Walter PPK. What's the right answer? Question number nine. The script of From Russia With Love was written by Roald Dahl, the children's author. Is this true or false? 
and false or true has been reversed here on things. It's false or true. Computer loves to mess with people. It does. It does indeed. <clears throat> Let's see where this comes up. Let's check percentage wise. It is even enough. Believe it or not, Roald Dahl did write a uh, script for one of the films, but it wasn't from Russia with Love. So some people might think they've got caught out here, uh, but he didn't. So the answer is indeed false. So well done to you if you got it. Question 10. In Casino Royale, the Dan Daniel Craig one. Let's not get the David Dippin one mixed up here. What card game is played throughout the movie? Lads, what are you playing? Anyone? Let's check out and see what they're playing. Was it Canasta, Baccarat, Poker or Bridge? Canasta, Baccarat, Poker or Bridge? Percentage wise, 79% of you going for Poker. It was indeed Poker. I like that a lot of people went for Baccarat. That seems to be kind of a fancy game. It is pure, a game of pure luck. I've never, like there is nothing to it. Um, just luck. 79% uh, will be going for Texas Hold'em Poker is the right answer. Let's have a look at question 11. Timothy Dalton, my favourite Bond before Daniel Craig and Pierce Brosnan and that's it. Yeah. Uh, Timothy Dalton starred in two Bond movies. One was Licence to Kill, but the other one was... Have you two a kill? The Living Daylights or Octopussy. One of those is the other Timothy Dalton movie. easy to get one mixed up as one of these films was the first film of the 80s and the other one was the last one in the 80s. Let's so have a look. Percentage wise 50, 80% of you going for Living Daylights and you'd be right. Well done. Question 12. Which James Bond supervillain is often seen stroking his white Persian cat? Many me. Is it Dr. Julius Snow? Francesco, Francesco Scaramanga, Auric Goldfinger, or Ernest Stravor Blofeld. Oh my god, they, those are very difficult names to say quickly. And percentage wise, 63% of going for Blofeld is the right answer. Love Corey Bar Bar Burton as a Bond. Okay. This is a. Uh, always with that Persian. I had a rocky start, but. We're on a roll, says Meyer. Brilliant. That's good to hear. Question 13. Where did the opening sequence of Spectre, my f least favourite James Bond movie in a long, 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 long time, where did it take place? Kind of a cool intro, I'll be here before. Um, is it Barcelona, Lisbon, Dublin, or Mexico City? Barcelona, Lisbon, Dublin, or Mexico City? A Rocky quiz. Are you saying that because you'd actually be good at it or because you just want to mess with me? It's a great idea, by the way. Uh, let's have a look. Percentage wise, Mexico City seems to be the big lead and it is indeed. Thank God no one said Dublin. 75% uh, of you. Right. Fifth, 14. What is the shortest James Bond film on record? Google this to make sure as well. Is it Quantum of Solace, Casino Royale or On Her Majesty's Secret Service? You'd be up for a rocky quiz for you. 50% on Her Majesty's Secret Service is the correct answer. Oh no, Quantum of Solace. Apologies. I was looking at what G said. I thought, oh, they must all be right. It's not. Um, it's Quantum of Solace. 20% of you got it right. It is the shortest. I think it's like 119 minutes or something like that. And you think that's short. Um, you think that's long, but it's not. So you didn't have to sit too much through it if you didn't like it. Uh, let's have a look at the next question. Spectre is one of James Bond's arch enemies. Well, it's an organization. But what does the S stand for? Is it secret, special, or super? Ashley, of course, coming in with her tuppence. Well, that was an unfair question. It felt like Quantum of Sol. Uh, soulless. Uh, we're done forever. Hmm. Let's have a look at the percentage. Oh, it's between a secret and special. 
50% of you going, and it was right. Special is the right answer. Uh, question 16, which James Bond theme song did the did Shirley Bassey not sing? Did not sing. Was it The Man with the Golden Gun, Diamonds Are Forever, Moonraker, or Goldfinger? Oh, percentage-wise, uh, The Man with the Golden Gun and Moonraker seem to be side by side, but she did sing a Moonraker. It was The Man with the Golden Gun. It seems to be the right answer, and 80 of you got that right, and 80 of you got Moonraker wrong. Question 17. Alex Trevelyan, someone brought him up earlier on. Sean Bean portrayed, portrayed which 00 agent in Goldeneye? If you haven't seen it, this may give away some of the plot. And 7, 8, 5, or 6. 7, 8, 5, or 6. 7, 8, 5, or 6. Which one was Alec Trevelyan? For England, James! For England! <clears throat> Sean Bean is nice indeed. Let's have a look. Percentage wise, 60% of you going for 006. For England, James! It was indeed the right answer. Well done. Question 18. Blech. Madonna starred in Die Another Day. But in what sport was her character an instructor? Her character was an instructor in what sport in the film? Let's have a look at the answers. Was it ballet, fencing, chess, or soccer? Last call, James. <laughs> Actually, seeing I quickly know I heard nothing about James Bond. Uh, to be honest with you, I haven't seen them in a while. And I think I would do okay with these questions so far. But I pretend to retain stupid knowledge. Uh, let's move it on. Question 19. How does James Bond prefer his martini cocktails? Shaken, not stirred. Shaken. Stirred, not shaken. Shaken, not stirred. In a dirty glass. Are you actually the first chocolate milk? And percentage wise it is shaken not stirred someone went for the stirred not shaken bit uh, he, uh, he did uh, in, in, in Casino Royale they did have a little dig at that whole uh, shaken not stirred thing when he made up the Vesper which was the cocktail was the, the martini that your man said will I shake that and he said I don't care does it look like I care which was a nice little kick which, to the whole but on the previous and then they ruined it with the Roger Moore stuff later on uh, question 20 which actor was the first to portray James Bond in film as regards to the these ones let's have a look George Lazenby David Niven Roger Moore or Sean Connery David Niven was Jim, Jimmy Bond I think as it was he was an American, but that was the original Casino Royale. I told you to, that we were only doing the ones that we're talking about here. With the correct answer, Sean Connery. And 35% of you getting it right. Some of you went for the David Dippin one, but you're wrong. Because uh, we were talking about these ones. Question 21. Well, we're going to do 21 now because I moved on. Which author created the character of James Bond? Which character created the character of James Bond? Was it John Le Carre, uh Ian Fleming, Tom Clancy, or Robert Ludlum? So far, everyone getting it right. No one has messed up yet. Well, I think we're short one answer. Uh, one person didn't answer, so it doesn't count. We're going to get a 100% it was Ian Fleming. Boom! Um, yeah, so we're, yeah, that's the end of this round. We're going to give you a break now. Next round is only going to have nine questions in it, so it'll be a short one. Boom! So we're back. I'm uh, going to give you a countdown. Three minutes. I'll be finished. I'll be finished and all for 10 o'clock. Uh, yeah, here we go. I'll give you the horn. Just get, I forgot to give you the horn. Bond horn. You got it. Nigel, I did warn you. I did warn you. I did warn you that uh, we weren't we were going with uh, the Bond MGM 
strain of films. We did say at the start, Fleming did indeed give us the horn. Uh, James Desmond saying, I, I, I knew way more than I expected. That's that's very, very good. Nigel says, sorry, I missed the first six questions. Uh, yeah, you had to come in late. That's okay. Uh, James, great quiz. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. So, yeah, uh, we'll figure out. We'll do a few more quizzes. As I said, I'm going to move the, the studio. There's no point in me having to drive all the way to, into town. So I'm going to start doing these from home. And we do some mini ones. We might charge for the kind of the larger quizzes that take a little bit more effort. But I only, you know, did, did a small bit of this one. So you figure it out. That it's a lot more fun when you don't know anything about the quiz. You're all trying to build up my confidence. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, one minute and 40 seconds. I'm going to have a drink. I'm waiting. Believe it or not, my, my wife is watching Desperate Housewives at the moment. And uh, I actually, I retained a lot of information from the first time she watched it. And I, I kind of pop in now when she's watching it every so often. I'm like, oh yeah, I remember this bit. Oh, I remember when that happened. Oh, right. Hey. Also, you know. What's her name's in it? Oh, for God's sakes. She was also a Bond girl. Oh, you'll help me out. I'm having some ups and downs with my um, answers, but loving the quiz. Not too hard, not too easy. Old surfing baddie from the band guy is the Grandmaster. Uh, I love Desperate Housewives, that's from Colette Daly. Yeah, it's a good show. It's hard. Anyone else gonna tell me what her name was? She was also um, MacGyver's girlfriend. She was in a Bond girl. Terry Hatcher, thank you very much. Thatcher. Terry Hatcher. So, 30 seconds and we're starting the next round. If you've just wandered in off the street and you've just come across the stream, we're doing a free live quiz. And if you still want to test your knowledge, you can. You can just join in if you want to. There is, I think, around 30 people today. No, 20 people, I think so. Check the leads. Yeah, there's just 20 people playing. That's all that matters. So we're going to be starting again. This is the last question. That was 21. We're going on to question 22. Give you a few seconds. Oh, yeah. You want to know the score? That would make a lot of sense. But let's have a look at the scoreboard. There we go. T-Dog 007 has got 1,790. Well, at the moment, three questions ahead of Niall, who I thought would be our uh, number one uh, at the moment. But T-Dog is very, very fast. And also very, very right. Getting 20 out of 20 right in the first round. Uh, Cup of Tay Riley, you are sitting nice and pretty on third place. Colette, not uh, not too shabby either in fourth place. So well done to you guys. Mary Ryan has uh, unfortunately all the way down the bottom. That's okay too. That's all right too. It's, it's it's all about taking part and having a bit of fun. James Bond shoots like a girl. What's your BBK? You're in thirty place as well. Yeah. To be fair, the, the character of James Bond is not a, a nice person. He's a bastard like. The way he treats people. He shoots a guy in the ass uh, when, he, when he's dead in, in Doctor No. So not a nice person. And the way he treats women. Atrocious. Atrocious. Let's have a look. Let's keep going. Let's get rid of the scoreboard. We're going to do round number two. Question 22. In the James Bond series, what is the significance of being a double O agent? Let's have a look is it there's no significance it's just a fancy title it means you have never failed that mission it gives you one a license to complete a, to kill to complete a mission or d it means you can shoot equally well with either hand long-winded i gave a lot of time to that so you've got time to at least read it so i i, I gave more time so you don't feel like you were under pressure there let's have a look percentage wise 91 percent if you got it right some probably thought it gives you the, the it means you never failed a mission. Uh, nope, it is your, your license to kill. Got a license to kill. Question 23. What was the first film where Daniel Craig portrayed James Bond? Phantom of Solace, a Die Another Day, Casino Royale, or Skyfall? A day, another day. I want to hate that Die Another Day theme song. It's not good. It's not the worst of all of the themes in the Bond songs. Sam Smith is probably at the bottom of the, the pile at this point for me. Uh, let's have a look. 
Percentage wise, seventy three percent of you knew it was Casino Royale. Uh, Die another day was Pierce Brosnan. And right, question twenty four: Which Bond villain's henchman? Oh, we've had that question already, so we're going to skip it. Uh, I don't know how we got in there twice. Question twenty five: Which of these actors has not played James Bond in a film? Which of these actors has not played James Bond in a film? George Lazenby. Timothy Dalton, Roger Moore, or James Coburn? George Lazenby, Timothy Dalton, Roger Moore, or James Coburn? Which one of them has not played? That has no agreeing with me, the Sam Smith one. Not that that was Coburn. Just because you chuck an all orchestra part into it doesn't make it a bean bond song. Let's have a listen. Uh, let's have a see. 96% would be going for uh, James Coburn. We've had a question on Timothy Dalton already, so hopefully you learnt a little bit at that. Timothy Dalton has played Bond. Uh, question 26. What did Roger Moore refuse to do in all of his Bond movies, leaving that work to his stuntmen? Was it throw a punch, drive a car, or run? So was he always getting someone to throw a punch from, drive a car from, or run for him? Not wear hand pants is indeed the right answer. Moira couldn't believe this one about Roger Moore. Yes, he has a funny run. He thinks he looks stupid when he runs. So he gets other people to run for him. Yeah, there you go. I I, I had to look up. I, I couldn't believe it when I saw it, but he's got a funny run. So he doesn't like to do it on screen. And if you, I, I've gone back to look at it. And when he does run himself, he kind of jogs. He kind of moves quickly rather than run. Uh, question 27. What car is usually associated with the James Bond film franchise? You're going to get a list of cars and you're going to tell us which one. Is it the Bentley Mark IV, the Lotus Esprit S1, the Aston Martin DB5 or the BMW 750iL? Two seconds left. Percentage. 95% of you going for the... Oh, jumps down one person at a, a late guess. Uh, Aston Martin, always very famous when it comes to it, is indeed the right answer. The DB5. Question 28. Which of these movie Bond girls names is fake. So we're looking for the fake name. He has one very short leg. That's why he has a weird run. <laughs> uh, yes, the Esprit is indeed in The Spy Who Loved Me, but if you're going to choose the car that's a James Bond car, you're going to choose the DB Mark. Uh, the, uh, the Aston Martin. Um, let's uh, Pussy Galore, Xena on a top, Connie Lingus, or Holly Goodhead. Just, every one of them is wrong, as far as I'm concerned. Except for Xena on the top. Had a thing for her too. So. Femke Jensen. Yeah, had a thing for her. Started there. It started on Goldeneye. Yeah. Um. These, they're, they are fake names. Um. Uh. It is a Connie Lingus. So uh, that's the only one that wasn't. And if I, I'm so. It didn't even make it awesome powers because it was that bad. Uh, right, but Lunty, question 29. Back you go. 29. Felix Leiter works for which government agency? Felix Leiter works for which government agency? FBI, Interpol, MI6, or CIA? Percentage-wise, 50-70 you going for the uh, CIA. A couple people thought Interpol, some people thought the FBI, but no, he was. Misclick. No! 57% of beginner, right. CIA. Question 29, he eventually became a uh, private investigator. Question 30, how many kills does it take to be promoted to a double-O status? We find out at the start of Casino Royale uh, with Daniel Craig. He actually, uh, it's the opening scene. Explaining how many. Is it zero, two? 500 or 1. My god, it's a massacre. Percentage of you guys, he got 65% of you saying 2, which is the right answer. At the opening scene of uh, Casino Royale, the guy he's talking to says, you have to have two kills to be a double O. He says, you, you know, if you kill me, it's only one. He says, uh, he had killed the informer before. And he said, no, you're two of them. Spoiler alert. 
All right, let's have a look at the scoreboard. T Dog 007 is still up on top. Um, his lead has gone further ahead. Niall Daly is already in second place. Cup of Tay Riley. Everyone's staying exactly where they were in first, second, and third. Uh, does um, Colette Daly? She stays where she is as well. Brian and Susan Power are still in there as well. And we've had two extra people join in because they've just been walking by. It's a free quiz to join into. So even if you want to do the last twenty questions just for a bit of fun, you can do so. It costs nothing. Nothing. Just my time. Uh, right, going to give you, for this one, it's only a small uh, break because it was a small round. I'm going to give you one minute. So we've got one minute up on the clock there. And in one minute, we're going to do the next round. And we'll do the last 20 questions. We'll fly through them. We'll be done at nine o'clock. And I'll be home and watching the rest of Desperate Housewives with my wife at probably happens. So, she's on season four, you know. And uh, right. 40 seconds. Uh, let me know as well what you is your favorite Bond film. What is the what is the what favorite Bond film? Is, the, is it the one that you saw in the cinema first? Is it the one uh, that you keep watching over and over again? Or if it's on TV, you can have to watch it. Who is your favorite Bond? I think mine is Pierce Brosnan or Timothy Dalton. Daniel Craig's fun and all that kind of stuff, but they were just super suave. Dalton was good. I like Brosnan though. Golden is a great film. It is a great popcorn film. It is a good Bond movie. Ashling is delighted to be in 19th. Right. So let me know all that stuff. Who's been winning between Pat and Colin? There's no... Is there a Pat and Colin tonight? Uh, I'm assuming... Uh, probably is, you know that? But I don't care. I'm not going to check out. I'm winning. I'm winning tonight. You hear me? Uh, let's have a look at the quiz again. Bring it up. Check on that poker game. Everyone getting on all right here? Everyone okay? Yeah? Everyone all right? Everyone all right? Chief? You good? All good? You good? Someone get him a tissue. All right, let's do this. We're moving on. We're getting rid of the scores and we're moving on to the next question. You got yourself a few seconds. Question 31 coming up. Uh, what is Jaws only line in every Bond movie? This is question 31. Uh, Ashley thinks uh, Daniel Craig is her own because she's the only one I've ever really seen. Right, fair enough. That's okay. Bond is what you see. Uh, let's have a look at the um, answers. Well, here's to us. Time to die now or so long, Mr. Bond. Met. Uh, well, I didn't meet him. I saw him coming off an airplane. Richard Keel, the actor who played Jaws in the movies. He was also in uh, Happy Gilmore. Uh... He, I saw him coming off an airplane. He was in uh, very bad uh, condition. He was in a wheelchair uh, coming off an airplane in Philadelphia International Airport. Uh, let's have a look. Love when Jaws meets his girlfriend. Who doesn't? It's it's romance. Uh, Jam, the Jaws ones are weird. Moira, you're right. They are indeed very, very weird, but that is Roger Morphia. Well, here's to us, I think, is the correct answer. So long, Mr. Bond. No. He says it at the end of Moonraker. It's his only line in the entire run of all the films. Question number 32. What bikini clad bombshell hunter, uh, seashell hunter, does uh, Bond meet in Dr. No? Is it Honey Rider, Tatiana Romanov, or Nova, or Kissy Suzuki? So Honey Rider, Tatiana Romanova, or Kissy Suzuki? You couldn't put in mm, rope. Well, it wasn't rope, it was cable. He was, he was biting... Uh, metal cable because he had you know jaws of metal imagine the the, the pain in his teeth he had to he had to, they had to keep stopping so that he could take out the false teeth let's have a look 64% of you going for honey rider it was indeed 64% getting it right right answer question 33 what James Bond film features Christopher Walken as billionaire industrialist Max Zorin there he is over there uh, let's have a look at the answers. Is it Octopussy, License to Kill, or A View to a Kill? I do indeed like all of the uh, kind of Bond songs for Roger Moore and Dalton. I took them away. From that point on, really, the era of good pop songs of Bond era. Not the whole brass band thing with the pop songs. They're all fun. Let's have a look at the correct uh, most of you going for a view to kill it was the right answer and I love the poster to that one too where he's up on the top of the one of the cables of the uh, Golden Gate Bridge very cool poster 
when the Zorn blimp is in the background. 74% of you getting it right. He's <laughs> walking another legend and he should be the next Bond. He should be. Next. Bond. Jing. He can do the whole thing. Bond. Jing's Bond. Uh, 34. What feature does 007's Aston Martin V12 Vanquish pub equipped with in Die Another Day? Is it? Invisibility, Wings, Periscope, or AI. So which of those uh, cool features does M give the Aston Martin V12 Vanquish in Die Another Day? Strangely enough, while it's badly represented in the film, they had been working on technology and still are working on technology where small little cameras reflect what's on the other side of the car. True, it's very complicated, but in the film it is represented as invisibility, which 70% of you have gone for, and it is indeed the right answer. Uh, the technology kind of does exist for it. Look it up. It does So what it may have been outlandishly done in that film, it, 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 it was uh, something that was on the, on the, on the, you know, coming up. Question 35. What is Christmas Jones' profession in the world is not enough? Someone said about Christmas earlier on, and here it is. Christmas comes only once a year, unless you're watching a Bond film. Is a, she a physician, a secret agent, a reporter, or answer option? Answer option, you know what we're going to do? That question is now going to be deleted. Uh, the answer is, is gone. Uh, so... She is a nuclear physician, and that is what answer D was. Uh, she was a nuclear technician, a nuclear physicist. Uh, so that question is 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 going to be deleted. So delete Q. Watermaster deleted. Uh, that's what happened. Answer option was going to be the right answer, and evidently it didn't come through properly. Um, strangely enough. Uh, so that will be deleted at the end of the quiz. So question 35 is going to be deleted at the end of the quiz. We're going to uh, go back here again, okay? So don't, don't worry, guys. That, that question will be deleted. No one got any points for it anyway, so it's all the same. Um, actually, just make sure no one got any points for it. Here we go. No points given to anyone for that question. Uh, question 36. What is the name of Bond's ancestral home? Question 36. What is the name of Bond's ancestral home? Let's have a look at the answers for this one. Palmier, pal, Palmier, the Grey Stoke South Sea Skyfall. Palmier. <laughs> I can't say it. Palmier, Grey Stoke South Sea or Skyfall. Oh my God, I just got stuck. Let's have a look. And see percentage wise, eighty three percent of you going for Skyfall. You're right. Damn you, Bond. Ring ahead. Ring ahead for God's sakes, will you? Eighty three percent getting themselves the right answer. 37. How much does Scaramanga charge uh, for a hit in The Man with the Golden Gun? It's a really awkward looking gun. I, I, really awkward making look, looking thing. Uh, let's have a look and see what the answers are. 5 million, 10 million, 1 million, or 5 euros. Fella just wanted to kill. The 5 euros was just a tip. He just wanted to kill. I like killing people. Give me 5 rafts. Thanks very much. Buy yourself a beer. Uh, percentage wise, oh, it seems to be split between five and one. No one thought five euros. I'm delighted. One plant here. No, it is indeed one million dollars. Five dollar reduce. Uh, in living daylights, Bond sleds down a mountain on. Is this question 38? In the living daylights, Bond, sl Bond sleds down a mountain on a mattress, a garbage lid, a door, or a cello case. <laughs> showing their passports to the uh, the checkpoint as they go through on the cello case. Easily one of my favourite memories from my new Bond film, let's face it. Um, the right answer is indeed cello case. Question 39. How does Felix Leiter, the guy that we were talking about earlier and who works for the CIA, lose a leg in the film Licence to Kill? Very graphic. It's the first very graphic 15s film uh, from uh, Bond. It is quite... I got a bit of a, a, a bad rating over it. Let's have a look. Uh, car wreck. Parachute doesn't open. Shark chainsaw. So how does he lose his leg? Was it a car wreck? Was it a, a shark? Was it a chainsaw? Or was it a parachute not opening? Boy, oh, sexy car in that film. Damn right in that last one. Damn right. Uh, let's have a look. 
percentage wise you went for a shark it was a shark attack don't worry it grew back it did <laughs> it grew back and he he got a little uh sh shadier darker skin in further films um 83 percent from Sh shark not shrek i know you said shrek the shark was called jaws they used the same one did they they have to use the same shark it was it, it, he was uh he was um he was unionized uh question 40 what do the north koreans torture bond with in die another day there's a lot of die another day questions in here but it just happens to be there uh, so die another day what do the north koreans use to torture bond poor bastard is it rats snakes scorpions or wasps so is it rats snakes scorpions or wasps Percentage wise, 70% of you going for scorpions, you'd be right. They also drowned them a lot. A lot of water boarding. Question 41. From which rental station does Q issue Bond's car in Tomorrow Never Dies? So in Tomorrow Never Dies, very, very funny uh, thing that happens later on. He returns the car. Uh, Q issues Bond's car in Tomorrow Never Dies. From which rental station? Davis or Hertz? What was the answer to coming down a hill? A cello. Whiffy went off, did it? The Whiffy went off, Padraig. It was a cello case. He slid down the hill on a cello case. You have to swap the 4G, buddy. 5G. Just get on to just Just say it out loud to, and, and it'll happen because they're all listening to you. Uh, Avis is the right answer 65% of you getting it right question 42 which actor played only uh, played only one which actor played only one time James Bond I don't know who wrote that question it's off if you written so James Bond who played him once which of these actors played James Bond once George Lazenby Roger Moore or Sean Connery It, it's, it, it really isn't a bad James Bond film. He does have an awful bit at the start where he gets attacked and he looks directly at the camera and more or less admits that there was other Bonds before him, like Sean Connery, and says, this never happened to the other guy. Right, thanks for breaking the fourth wall and ruining the film at the start. Uh, yeah, that's the start of it. Um, he had originally been offered a larger contract with three or four or five films uh, with MGM where he would also be able to get choose the script of another film to shoot in between a Bond film, choose his leading lady and was given a load of money. But his friends turned him off it because the Cold War was coming along and it was the other wars like, and they said to him, oh, James Bond is going to be the anti-hero. You know, no one's going, to, he's going to be the villain. Eventually, you know, people are going to revolt against this whole establishment, one man killing for the government kind of thing. And he decided not to do it and he went off, even though he'd spent a fortune to try and become Bond. Uh, you don't need to know all that. It is George Lazenby. Well done. 43. In how many movies does Pierce Brosnan represent the main character? How many times does Pierce Brosnan play Bond? Is it 3, 2, 4 or 1? Uh, you're reiterating shite. I don't know he was shite. Presented wise, 74% of you going for 4. It was indeed. Goldeneye. Tomorrow Never Dies. The world is not enough and die another day. Pretty sure I probably said the same thing twice there, but. Question 44. Part of Roger Moore's contract in Live and Let Die demanded an unlimited supply of running. Uh, it's not the right answer for this one. Is it Monte Cristo cigars, manicures, Russian women or caviar? So was he expecting to see cigars, manicures, a line of Russian women or caviar? Let's have a look and see what she went with percentage-wise Monte Cristo. 9% of you honestly thought that he demanded to have women. Not hot pants, Colette. No. <laughs> but you went for caviar as well. And you'd be wrong because it is Monte Cristo cigars. 45. James Bond's parents died when he was a child. But how did they die? Let's hope it's not a shark attack. Uh, was it boating accident, car crash, climbing accident or hit by a train? Is 
percentage wise you've gone most of you've gone for car crash but it is a climbing accident they died in a climbing accident question 46 what is james bond's official title if you were to address him uh, when he's wearing his special hat is it lieutenant colonel commander captain or major what is his title he is a navy officer of course and if he was in in his navy's his uh skivvies or whatever they call it he would be known as commander commander bond well done question 47 irish actress, actress alison duty <laughs> <laughs> the youngest actress to play a James Bond girl later went on to star as a villain in the third movie of which franchise? Very, very famous. Very, very hot. Amazing looking woman. Uh, let's have a look and see what the answers are. Lethal Weapon, The Matrix, Indiana Jones, or Aliens? So Lethal Weapon, The Matrix, uh, Indiana Jones, or Aliens, Alison Duty. Um, percentage wise. It seems to be 41% if you think The Matrix. And 45% if you think Indiana Jones. This is how we say goodbye in Austria. It is indeed. Uh, Moira is like, what the heck? Um, shark attack after a like, play. Yeah, they fell off uh, into the river. So it, we don't know if it was the fall that killed them or the shark that was in the river or the sea, whatever it is. I don't know. 45% uh, if you going for Indiana Jones. She played the Nazi, uh, one that was after getting them to help them. Uh, of course, she was also with Sean Connery in that, but he was never in the band film with her. Um, it was the third film, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, um, is where she was. She, she was in that. Uh, -doo 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 -doo. She played the Nazi. Moving on to the next question. That was the right answer, percentage wise. And there you go, Indiana Jones. Uh, what does Stromberg like to do in The Spy Who Loved Me? So, the, uh, Stromberg. What does he like to do in The Spy That Loved Me? Spy who loved me. Is it eat fish, shake hands, kill people, or lose money? Which of those is what he likes to do? Percentage of, again, 70% getting it right. Shake hands is the right. He had webbed hands. Webbed hands, so he didn't like to shake hands. 70% of you getting it right. 49 second last question. What movie does Sean Connery list as his favorite in the Bond series? Nobody likes to lose money. You've ever seen the film uh, with Matthew McConaughey and Al Pacino about uh, gambling? Al Pacino has a very famous scene where he tells people about the gamblers prefer to lose money than win money because people listen to your hard luck stories over your winning story. So everyone likes to have the hard luck story rather than the winning story because they it makes them more... Look, at it's a good scene. Uh, two for the money. That was the name of the film. Watch that. Uh, let's have a look at the answers here. Goldeneye. For your eyes only. From Russia with love. Or Dr. No. Oh, the percentage wise has disappeared off the screen. It's not coming back. It looks like 57% of you got it right anyway. It was From Russia with love. That was his favourite film. Before he shot, became Sean Gonnery. Uh, Sean Gonorrhea, I don't know. Uh, ba -do 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 -do. Next question, final question. Who performed the Bond song from the 2008 film Quantum of Solace? Everyone's favourite Bond film from the Daniel Craig area. Second best as far as I'm concerned. Let's have a look. Percentage why or questions what answer why Sam Smith, Lady Gaga, Adele, or Jack White and Alicia Keys. Fodrick, I can't remember the last time I shake hands with anyone. I hate shaking hands. I'll hug a friend. I just hate shaking hands. I'm delighted. The pandemic has made my life a hell of a lot easier. Um, have a look. Percentage wise, again, it looks like 52% of you gone for Jack White and Alicia Keys. Damn, down, down, ba down, ba down. She is brilliant. It's a great song. Quantum Solace. Maybe it's better than the film, the, the song. It, it deserves uh, to be higher up on the favourite band songs of all time than it actually gets. Um, and it is indeed. The right answer, Jack White and Alicia Keys. Boom, boom, ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom. Dee -dee -dee -dee. And that is the end of the quiz. We got there. We're all the way to the end. Let's have a look and see who the winner is. Best of luck. 
D Nile Daly takes it right at the end. He was in second place all the way up until this last round. T Dog had a 400 point advantage, which means Nile Daly whizzed past him, whizzed past him, and ended up gaining 520 points against you. Uh, T Dog. So Niall Daly is in first place. T Dog 007. You're in second. Colette Daly. You nudged that poor um, cup of tea Riley out of her fourth place bar, and now she's in third place. Well done, Colette. So Colette and Niall are one and three. T Dog. You're right in the middle. It's a T Dog sandwich with second place. Um, Cup of tea, Riley uh, in fourth. Brian and Susan Power. You did really well as well. You got into fifth place. Nigel Cotter. While you missed the first six questions, I wonder if you would have been up in first place had you got all those first six questions. Never know. We'll never know, will we? Uh, the Tuesday Murder Club. Uh, we're here on a Sunday, thank God, uh, because, you know, no one wants to get murdered tonight. Uh, leave that Tuesday. Uh, James Not Bond. Very good. You're in eighth place. Uh, Shatner's Bassoon are in ninth. Justin Cider are in tenth place. Colin Healy. Or Cullum Healy, apologies, you're 11th place. Ronan Buckley, 12. Sean McTiernan, uh, you're in 13th. James Bond, Shoots Like a Girl. Walter PPK, you're in 14th place. Notorious Cat, David Hennessy, Aaron Hennessy, Roger Moore's Very Tiny Hot Pants, Roger. Mary Ryan, Daniel Murphy, uh, The Sunday Night Murder Club. They're the people I don't want to know. Uh, Karen Corcoran, and Jane Pendergast. Well done, you all did well, well and you all partook. Thank you very much for doing the quiz with me tonight. Let's check on the Bond uh, quiz. Any, any, anyone? No? You still, still, no, no one, anyone, no, all right, uh, yeah, so that's the end of it. What, circular laps, a round of applause, well, thanks so much, thanks Colin, nice bit of trip. Uh, when is next quiz? The next quiz is on Tuesday, guys, so, um, it is Sober Lane quiz, it's on this Tuesday night, the Sober Lane quiz. If you um, like tonight and you want to do another one, uh, choose a night uh, again at eight o'clock. We'll fit through it as well. We're getting we're getting quick at these things. Sixty uh, questions on Tuesday night, and there's a hundred euros uh, in cash, all for one vouchers, up for grabs again on Tuesday night. So a hundred euros and all for one vouchers. Uh, six euros to enter. You can buy it. Gets a big event daddy. Can we get rid of that? Uh, I'll tell you again. So get rid of the band. The play, the buy, buy your tickets at big event. So if you haven't played before, now's the time to, to, to get in. Cheers, Colin. Quiz was great without Pat. <laughs> I hear he's very handsome. He is indeed, Pat. I think you're very handsome anyway. Uh, I had fun tonight. That's all right. Good school, Jen. Thank you very much. And Karen Crockett, thanks very much. That's it for me, guys. Um, best of luck. Enjoy the rest of the night. There's a little bit of sunshine left, a little bit. So maybe you can head outside tonight and, uh, you know, have a beer out in the veranda. I don't know what you do. Uh, night, guys. See you next uh, Tuesday. And don't forget as well, Music Bingo, next Friday.